Good afternoon and thank you so much for joining my presentation today. My name is Sharchi and I'm an account director over at Mindshare where I look over a portfolio of clients, Volvo being a primary one of these. I'm here today to talk to you about some of the work that we did with Volvo in 2019, which allowed us to combine the power of both Finecast and Mobster to harmonise TV and mobile advertising in order to create a truly uh, holistic campaign and drive footfall into retailers, which was a media first. In terms of the business challenge, Volvo approached us in early 2019 with a key business challenge, which was lower than expected sales for their primary SUV model, the XC60. We were tasked with making people fall in love with the model again in order to increase consideration of the XC60 with the hope that this would lead to a rise in sales. From a consumer point of view and when looking at the brief, we know that we always have to focus on the consumer, but it's especially important when we're looking to shift buying behaviour. So in looking at the business challenge for Volvo's XC60 campaign, we needed to consider which data points we had available and how we could best utilise these cross-channel. The media channels which we would be utilising for the campaign in order to showcase the XC60 and how we can make these work harder and better together, and how we can measure the actual shifts in behaviour and going beyond just the standard media metrics. So when we look at this from a media brief and activation point of view, um, we really, in looking at the brief, were tasked with increasing sales of a priority model by driving consideration. So the brief was created in order to directly answer the business objectives of Volvo. We were given eight weeks to do this, um, which ranged from March to April 2019. And as Volvo wanted to showcase all of the benefits and features of their award-winning car, it made sense to hero AV assets and as such, Addressable TV was the primary channel for this campaign, as we were able to showcase the car with all of its features um, in order to encourage people to experience the car itself. Our target audience, as you can imagine, was auto intenders, were auto intenders, and the success of our campaign was going to be determined by footfall into retailer. The challenge here is that while TV and addressable TV is great in building reach, it is hard to always measure changes in behaviour and it can also be difficult to accurately target an auto audience within TV. In order to overcome this, we had to liaise with specific media partners and work really closely as a Mindshare team to create a unique solution to our brief. So this is where we decided to partner with known uh, known partners such as Mobster and Finecast. So in order to deliver on the campaign and hit our objective, we use these partners as they've previously worked really hard on Volvo campaigns and have delivered against our objectives. Mobster is a mobile first company which uses aggregated data of mobile usage to compile insights over time and create lo location derived audiences. Finecast gives us a singular way to deliver targeted ads to audiences watching TV content across multiple broadcasters and screens. And in, by combining the stature of TV through Finecast with the targeting capabilities of mobile through Mobster, we were able to devise a media first strategy which was able to accurately find an auto and tender audience and drive footfall into retailer by targeting them cross channel. When we look at how this actually came to life, Mobster had a key audience of auto intenders, which we have, which we know when we've used in the past. This audience is compiled of verified visitors to automotive car retailers, both Volvos and their competitors, in the last 60 days. What we then did is Mobster indexed this audience to a postcode level, meaning that we were able to target it through addressable TV via Finecast. Finecast was then able to deliver the XC60 TV ad to connect to TVs across broadcaster content, while Mobster retargeted the same postcodes with digital display. This level of cross-media advertising ensured a truly end-to-end -end approach, and 
meant that we could deploy an omni-channel um, solution to Volvo's brief. It also helped us to understand the efficacy of using mobile location derived data in addressable TV. So when looking at the results for this campaign, we did not have a control group within our fine cast buy. Um, so in order to generate results, we had to compare footfall volumes pre and post campaign. So pre campaign was looking at data from 90 days previous to campaign launch, and post campaign was from start to 30 days post. Mobster used density-based cluster analysis to identify catchment areas and assign impression delivery to each dealership in order to measure relative exposure to the campaign from both TV and mobile. Through this methodology, we were able to ascertain that the campaign as a whole drove an uplift of 30% to retailer visits across all channels, Addresses, addressable TV specifically delivered an uplift of 34%, and this was almost a 14% increase compared to Live New TV by itself. The highest uplift, though, was where we did combine mobile and addressable TV together, and in some regions, we saw uplifts of up to 46%. When compared to the baseline, our mobile and addressable TV solution uh, resulted in a 14, sorry, a 4.17% increase in footfall into retailer. As a result of this campaign, we were able to make our TV budgets work harder and bring TV, addressable TV and mobile closer together, creating a truly holistic campaign. In this way, not only were we able to showcase the benefits of the X360 through some brilliant TV assets, but we were able to demonstrate to Volvo that we were actually shifting consideration as demonstrated by the uplifts in, uh, in footfall. This campaign was a groundbreaking media first and has gone on to be shortlisted and win a number of awards, including the integrated, uh, the most effective integrated campaign in 2019. So, in terms of taking these learnings further and kind of a future focus, we really want to build on the momentum this campaign has created and understand how we can better utilise our media to work together. In our next iteration of this campaign, we will be looking to isolate control and expose groups so that we can see in-flight differences and make optimizations accordingly during the course of the campaign. We want to continue to test omnichannel targeting and activation strategies, seeing how we can better sync TV, not only with mobile, but also other digital channels. And lastly, we want to look to develop further operational efficiencies within Mindshare to ensure our teams are working closer together and draw drawing on each other's expertise to create more campaigns like this with the help of our trusted media partners.